turn now to Michigan, where accused school shooter Ethan Crumbly faced a judge today pleading guilty to all the charges he's facing. Prosecutors say the 16 year old suspect killed four of his fellow classmates and injured seven others. This was back in November of 2021. His parents have also been charged with four counts of involuntary manslaughter. They are awaiting trial. ABC's Rena Roy with the latest. Yes, sir. You understand that you will be pleading guilty to count one terrorism causing death. One by one, 24 charges read aloud by a Michigan judge. With first degree murder. Accused school shooter Ethan Crumbly pleading guilty to all of them. Is it your own choice to plead guilty? Yes, sir. The 16 year old suspect admitting to killing four of his fellow students in Oxford, Michigan last year and injuring seven others. Just getting the guilty plea alone. I know from my own child, I think that lifted a thousand pounds off his chest so he does not have to stand there and testify and relive it again. Among the charges, four counts of first degree murder and terrorism causing death. The teenager now facing life in prison. The prosecution is trying to make a point here. This is no different from international terrorism. This is terrorism. You are frightening the community. Crumbly was also asked to confirm that his father bought him the gun he used in the shooting. Is it true that you gave him your own money to buy the firearm? Yes. And that the weapon was kept in an unlocked safe. Yes, it was not locked. The state charging his parents, arguing they ignored a lot of red flags. Prosecutors also allege they tried to flee. They're facing four counts each of involuntary manslaughter, the first time parents have been charged in a school shooting. There's everything here to say that these parents should be held responsible, and it will send a message to other parents when you have issues like this. You need to take accountability for it. The parents claim they did what they could and should not be held criminally responsible. Both have pled not guilty. Because Crumbly is a minor, parole could potentially be on the table. His sentencing is set for next year and victims will have the opportunity to read statements. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York.